$472,000. I still have a good performance in the Cup Series, so I'm not exactly raring to get uh, new parts yet. So, we'll save it some more. I really want to get the $1 million um, uh, suspension upgrade. So we're going to trucks in Martina, Mar Martina McBridesville. Martina McBridensville. Oh, what the hell. Finished first place in a season. You're in second place. God damn it, Adam. Get your shit together. Alright, so we got a double header weekend here. We're going to trucks in Martinezville and a cup in Martinsville. I've always called this fucking place Mark Martinsville. Even like when I was playing NASCAR Thunder 2004 on PS1 when I was like six or so. I was calling it Mark Martinsville. So that's what the hell it is. That's what the hell it is. It was almost Mark Martinsville in I think 2010. Because he had that, because the, the splitter came apart. And he had a lot of speed through the corner, and if he had 20 more laps, he'd have passed Danny Hamlin and would have won that shit. Wow, 21-5, I don't think that's good. I didn't, really, I didn't do a very good job. Fifth, sixth, seventh. Oh, I had a Robert Presley, I think that's all that matters. Ninth, okay, at least I'm on the inside. Okay, let's just have patience. This track is good to me. It's been good to me in the past, alright? It's been good to me in the past, so... The race is indeed going green, so let's... Get ahead and get going here. Yeah, clearly I have a better, I have a way better truck than what qualifying says, so... 0 07 and 0 08 together. Seeing that in this game honestly surprised me, because in 2015... Ray Black Jr. and Corbin Forrester were driving in the 07 and 08. And in NASCAR Thunder... No, no. NASCAR 09. In NASCAR 09, um, uh, Shane C. is driving the 08. And it's like, what the hell is the 08 truck always had such a prevalent presence in the truck series? It's like, what? It's such a random number to have. Like, we had Jerry Nadeau and guys like that in the 01 for a while. And, you know, that's pretty reasonable. And the Jack Daniels 07, you know. I mean, that makes sense. That's a sponsor thing. But 08, 09 for Brad Keselowski at Talladega. In the year 2009, mind you, that was kind of cool. 2009 was a good year. Everything except for the chase. 2009 up to New Hampshire in the chase. 2009 was a great season up until then. Then it went very fast downhill. I want to lead a lap before pitting. The hell out of here, Dennis Setzer, I think. Yeah. The hell out of here, Dennis Setzer. This is my fucking racetrack. You don't mess with Adam. You don't mess with Adam. Alright, I got a lead lap there, so... And it's my best lap ever. Cool. Sub 20 seconds. I think this pit road is 55, but I'm going to go to 45 just to be safe. Uh, okay. Cool. Nice. So I got my lead lap bonus in the points and sponsorship-wise. I'm pretty sure I'm going to win this race, but I just wanted to do that to be safe. Plus, we don't have to worry about cautions, even though we didn't in the first place in this series. Really, only it was Texas that we had to deal with that bullshit. So, yeah. I'm going to have to turn off... I'm going to have to restart the web webcam quick. I'm using my laptop for this because it's a good camera. Plus, I don't have to move off my uh, computer there. Because you can, see, you can see in the... Um, you can see in the face cam there my uh, webcam... I've always been using for face cam, and now I'm using this for face cam. 
Very interesting to say the least. Very interesting. So there is Lance Nordic. I'm pretty sure he is still the leader. I'm about to unlap myself, I believe. No, someone else must be the leader. Denny Setsi must be up here somewhere. Mm, yep, and I just passed someone to get the lead lap back. Clear low. I have to pass these guys on the outside because they're so goddamn slow. And they just congest the inside. That's not cool, bra. It's not cool, bra. My Florida juice guy is like, that's not cool, bra. Florida Juice really doesn't fit this paint scheme, though. It's unfortunate. I very much like how Florida Juice fit the other paint scheme. The car is but the money that I need from this sponsor is far more important than than uh, secondary sponsors. So, Plus, I'm pretty sure I could change it if I really wanted to, but I think I have good sponsors right now. Plus, I'm in the lead, and the guys that I'm racing against are on pit road. And the pit road here is so strange. I always look to the left. And the wall is so low that it looks like, you know, you're racing against them as you're going here. It's weird. So that's Travis. Right here. I'm racing against him. I'm 3.7 seconds ahead of Jason, I assume, small. Uh, oh, almost kept it up the wall. And I'm pulling ahead of him. I'm not pulling ahead of Kerfoffle as much. Uh, damn it. I can't hit the goddamn wall after every lap and expect to have money after this race ends. Here comes the money. Money, 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 dollar, dollar. I've gotten back into WWE again. I was off for a long time because my story with WWE is very strange. So in 2009, I randomly was switching through channels and I came upon Randy Orton giving a speech to Triple H before their Wrestlemania match and I was like well that was pretty cool and then I didn't watch for a year then 2010 came around and I just randomly stumbled upon it yet again and I was like you know what I'm gonna watch this and so I did up until about 2000, uh, 2011 when I had access to the internet and I was like this is boring I wanna do stuff on the internet and so I watched videos by 72 Winnebago instead of watching WWE. And then I stopped caring about WWE for a long time, and then I started watching again around, I want to say, like 2013. It was right around the time that CM Punk took over the Nexus that I started watching it again, I think. Or maybe that was when I stopped. And then I came back, and then Punk was getting the push. And then I started watching again, and then Money in the Bank happened, and I was like, okay, some good shit. Was it Money in the Bank 2011? I really, I'm really curious now. C. M. Punk. John Cena, Money in the Bank 2011. So it was 2011 that Money in the Bank happened. So it must have been after Money in the Bank and a couple of weeks in that I stopped watching again. Because it was right around when Nash was doing his shit. And being an asshole. And it's like, this is, this is boring. Yeah. So, that's my story. Domination with a period, that's always good. So, I'm pretty sure I'm taking the lead in points. Yes, easily I'm taking the lead in points. Well, that's good. So that's good. I'm honestly curious, though. If I perform good enough, could I skip the truck race and win the championship? Because I didn't we I did it in Wheeling. That's what I'm wondering right now, because I want to go back to Daytona. I think I could win there. If it doesn't fuck me up the ass like it did last year. I'm genuinely curious if I can pull up to a sizable lead before going to that race because I need the truck series money, but I am good. I am good enough. I think I won by about 200 points last season and oh, it's, 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 that's curious. It's going to be close though. 
Oh yeah, what I was gonna do here. Okay, so I had this I had this hovering over there and it reminded me. I think we're gonna downgrade Team Michael Jackson to Team Ratner. Honestly. Because fueling doesn't make a difference. So we've still got Buddy Barton, we still got Bear Thompson. This should make a difference in the amount of money I spend at the end of every race. So Martinsville in the Cup Series. If I do what I did in trucks, everything will be fine. But I'm not so sure I can. You know something? I'm just realizing that. You see, after the end of that race, I didn't have that much damage on my truck. And you compare that to my first ever Martinsville race. Man, I'm evolving as a driver. I'm evolving as a driver, you know? I'm growing up. <laughs> Little Adam Petty, he's growing up, man. He's growing up. He's growing up so fast. <laughs>